आउज़बल्शीम बसमीम डी स्टूडेंट्स असलम टूडे वी विल डिस्कस दाऊद कुमार एज अ पोइट हिज स्टाइल ऑफ राइटिंग एंड हिज मेजर थीम्स इन हिज पोइट्री बेटे अनलकीली आई एम अनेबल टू फाइंड एंड ट्रेस आउट द टेक्स्ट ऑफ द पोएम इनकलूडेड इन योर स्लेबी हाउ एवर द मेन क्वेश्चन Uh, under discussion is uh, really the cream for your examination please prepare it uh, you will it will be very helpful uh, for you people in your examination surely uh, dear students daud kamal who hails from peshawar dean hod chairperson of uh, university of shar english department son of the ex uh, vice chancellor of the same university uh, <coughs> famous uh, after his life as a poet although he uh, didn't uh, get as much uh, recognition and repute as a poet during his lifetime although he published some of his poems uh, but after his death he has got his due respect and due place in pakistani english literature daud kamal is one of pakistan's most accomplished poets indeed his poems convey a sense of loss and spiritual displacement in the face of violence and cultural erasure kamal's first book reverberations 1970 consists of translations of the classical urdu poets Uh, different urdu poets especially galib his original poems in english appeared in uh, recognitions in 79 a remote beginning 1985 and in such posthumous uh, volumes as a river mist 92 before the carnation wither 95 and selection of verse in 97 kamal's uh, translations of the urdu poets faiz ahmed faiz Ahmad Nadeem Qasmi Munir Niazi and Ahmad Faraz appeared in four contemporary poets in 1992 uh, <coughs> these collections show uh, his uh, variety uh, as a poet as a translator he uh, tried to convey the idea in a very well balanced uh, uh, content of translation translation is a uh, a very difficult art uh, converting uh, one language into another especially urdu and punjabi poets were his target to bete urdu shayari ko waise bhi kisi zuban ko dusri zuban ke idiom mein dhalna mushkil hai aur khaas taur par shayari to bahut hi mushkil kaam hota hai ke kisi shayar ke khayalat ko jo hai wo usi sweetness ke sath usi tone ke sath उसी टेक्सचर के साथ जो है वो पेश किया जा सके जिसमें वो अपनी ज़ुबान में है दूसरी ज़ुबान में बहुत मुश्किल काम होता है तो इसमें वो किस हद तक कामयाब हैं इनके तर्जमे पढ़कर जो है वो पता चलता है काफ़ी हद तक फैज़ अहमद फैज़ और गालब को ख़ास तौर पर उन्होंने बहुत अच्छी तरह जो है वो कन्वे किया है इन इंग्लिश फिर इनकी जो औरिजिनल इंग्लिश कम्पोजिशनज़ हैं इन इन पोइट्री in shape of small poems they are uh, uh, on different themes his style is simple as he was a professor for more than 30 years he taught english language and literature ko zuban sada si hai koi aisi ambiguity nahi hai lekin imagist poetry se ye bahut mutasir hain lihaza इमेजेस जो हैं वो आपको जगह जगह जो हैं वो इंट्रूड करते हुए इनकी शायरी में जो वो मिलते हैं दाऊद कमाल हैज़ अ कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट स्टाइल ऑफ राइटिंग पोइट्री ही राइट्स ब्यूटीफुली इन फ्रेगमेंट्स रादर द मेन थीम्स ऑफ हिज पोइम्स आर रूरल एंड रस्टिक ही प्लेज विद द आइडिया ऑफ ब्रूटल इन जस्टिस ऑफ किंग्स यू मे से द पॉलिसी मेकरस द पीपल at the hem of affairs on common men his deep observation of small things reflects through his poems in a vast manner 
Kamal can also said to be a mystic poet because images of Sufism, that is Sufi world, can also be seen in many of his poems. It is an impact of his Urdu translation, rather. ये असर जो है ना बेटे उसकी उर्दू शायरी और पंजाबी खास तौर पर सूफियाना कलाम पढ़ पढ़ के और उसको ट्रांसलेट कर करके जो है वो इसकी अपनी जो इंग्लिश कंपोजिशन है उसमें भी ये जो है वो दार आया है कि देर इज़ ए हिंट ऑफ मिस्टिसिज्म मिस्टिक पोइट्री इन हिज पोइम्स इन हिज पोइट्री यू कैन सी ग्रेसफुल इमेजेस ऑफ नेचर एज वेल ही टाक्स इनोसेंटली ऑफ ग्रेट हिमालयाज स्टार स्काइज sparkling waters and trees and so on as a poet he has a deep connection with his soul as well as the soul of the universe which is surely nature kamal's sensitivity towards changing world around him deeply affects his poetry uh, dear students mostly his poetry is labeled as an imagist poetry uh, as he was uh, very much influenced as i already uh, told you Uh, by the imagist movement of poetry in english his writing style is deeply influenced by the imagists he follows the style of w b yeats and ezra pound especially in poetry in his uh, both these poets are called imagist poets in his later life he was deeply moved by latin american authors as well a man of heightened sensitivities he was not unaware of what was happening around him it means that he is a poet of everyday life that is his poetry has a unique sense of history as well and the need of an artist the need to connect to the culture of the past can also be felt in his poetry the images of monasteries miniature paintings bullock carts and antiques are recurrent themes in his poems Uh, dear students kamal mostly writes about the poor people and their troubles and hardships in life and uh, uh, he, uh, all his poetry is rather an expression of this uh, uh, very aspect of poverty kamal talks of poor men and their hardships in a simple manner without complications he expresses his uh, concern and pain and grief over the miserable condition of these poor people in his poem there is a reference from a poem please an ancient coin indian coin he talks about the tyranny of lords upon poor men he says the king's hunting dogs are better fed than most of his subjects to ye ek nazam se bete chhota sa reference hai apni ek nazam maroof uski an ancient indian coin usme se ek choti si line कि ये जो हमारे हुक्मरान हैं इनके जो हंटिंग डॉग्स हैं वो भी ज़्यादा बेहतर खुराक हासिल करते हैं इन किराया के मुकाबले में राया मीन्स द पीपल हु आर लीडिंग ए वेरी मिजरेबल लाइफ अंडर दिस टेरिनिकल रूल ऑफ द रूलर्स किंग्स इज अ सिंबल ऑफ द रूलर्स ऑफ द सब कॉन्टिनेंट रदर attached to this uh, uh, very theme of uh, depicting poverty uh, the miserable condition of the poor people he surely uh, without commentary he depicts and paints the class distinction in society that class distinction that sets apart both the factions both the folks the elite and the poor the socio economic uh, डिस्टिंगशन दैट इज़ देयर इन सोसाइटी ये जो ऊपर वाली लाइने हैं बेटा ये भी शो करती हैं कि वो कैसे जो है वो इस क्लास डिस्टिंगशन को जो है वो कैसे पोर्ट्रे करते हैं बहसीत पोइट और ये एक और इसी नज़म में से एक रेफरेंस है छोटा सा देखे वो कहते हैं ज़रा चलें मैं आपके साथ इसको पढ़ देता हूँ वैसे ये ईजी सा है these lines show the depth and anger of a sensitive heart towards brutal kings who seem to betray their own people they are so cruel that they consider dogs better than the human beings in the same poem kamal talks about the poor system of division of wealth and the ill use of it he says but a piece of gold does not take one year one very far 
تو یہ جو معاوضہ دیتے ہیں اپنے نوکروں کو اپنے ملازموں کو یہ سپر ایلیٹ کلاس کے رولنگ پیپل وہ ایک سال تو نہیں نہ چل سکتے زیادہ دیر تک تو ایک سونے کا سکہ جو ہے وہ جو انہیں دیا جاتا ہے معاوضے کے یعنی بہت تھوڑا معاوضہ ایک طرف پسے ہوئے غریب لوگ ہیں دوسری طرف جو ہیں وہ وہ لوگ ہیں جو دے آر انجوائنگ آل دا بلیس آف لائف واٹ ہی مینس ٹو سی از دیٹ منی از نتھنگ ٹو بی پراؤڈ آف اف یو کانٹ ہیلپ دا نیڈ اینڈ پور آفٹر آل اٹ وونٹ اسٹے فار ایور منی کانٹ بائی مورل ویلیوز رادر دس از دا سیم ڈسٹنگشن سوشیو اکنامک رفٹ دیٹ از کریٹیڈ ان دا ماڈرن ڈے ورلڈ اینڈ آلسو ان دا پاسٹ ویئر کنگ شپ واز آل اراؤنڈ تو جدید دنیا کا بھی یہی المیہ ہے اور ماضی میں بھی یہی ہوتا رہا امیر اور غریب کا وہ جو فرق ہے وہ دنیا اسے پاٹ نہ سکی اور یہ سوشیو اکنامک جو رفٹ تھی وہ خلیج تھی وہ ویسے کی ویسے انسانوں کے درمیان موجود رہی دین اگین اٹیچ ٹو دس ویری تھیم آف کلاس ڈسٹنگشن اینادر تھیم ہی ایکسپلائٹس ایز اے پوئٹ از دا کروئلٹی آف نیچر آل دو ہی ڈیپکٹس بیوٹی آف نیچر ایز ویل آل اراؤنڈ ہیم ایز ہی واز ایجوکیٹڈ ان کاشمیر ان ارلی ڈیز آف ہز لائف ان ایبٹ آباد دیر فور ہی از ویری 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 فیملیئر ود دا بیوٹی آف نیچر آل اراؤنڈ ہز لائف ان اٹ سیلف تو اس کے علاوہ بیٹے وہ جو فطرت کے اندر جو دیکھیں فطرت کے دونوں پہلو ہیں نا آپ جانتے ہیں تو اس میں خصوصاً جو ہے فلڈز پر وہ بہت بات کرتے ہیں کہ فطرت بھی جو ہے وہ یہ جو ماڑے لوگ ہیں کمزور لوگ ہیں ویکر لوگ ہیں ان کو اور زیادہ جو ہے وہ گویا تباہی کی طرف لے جاتی ہے ان از پوئم فلڈز کمال ٹاکس اباؤٹ دا کروئلٹی آف نیچرل ڈیزاسٹرز اینڈ ویدر دیر اور جیسے دیکھیے آج جو ہے وہ آپ کے سامنے ہی ہے سارا منظر کہ جو بیچارہ غریب ہے وہ اور بھی پستا چلا جا رہا ہے اس معاشی سماجی نظام کے اندر ہی سیز دیٹ دا نیچر کین بی ویری ٹائر اینڈ ٹین سم ٹائمس آل دو دا بیوٹیفل آسپیکٹس آف نیچر آر ویری سودنگ کمفرٹنگ یٹ دا ہوریبل تھنگ از ہاؤ کین ون فار گیو دا ٹریچری آف بلائنڈ ریورس یہ جو دریا جو ہیں جب بپھرتے ہیں کس طرح سے انسانی آبادیوں کو بہا کر لے جاتے ہیں تباہی مچاتے ہیں یو آر نو اے ویٹنس یور سیلف ان کراچی دا سچویشن ان پنجاب اور رادر ان دا ہول آف یور کنٹری اور وہ جو گلوبل وارمنگ کا وہ جو ایک فنومنن آیا ہوا ہے جس کی وجہ سے موسموں میں یہ یکسر جو ہے وہ ان ایکسپیکٹیڈ ٹرنز آ رہی ہیں کہ وہ بارش جسے سارا سال دھیرے دھیرے برسنا ہوتا ہے وہ یک دم دس پندرہ دنوں میں برس گئی ہے اور ہو سکتا ہے اٹ از فیئرڈ دیٹ یو مائٹ فیس رین لیس ایئر دا ہول ایئر اراؤنڈ انفارچونیٹلی دین یو ول فائنڈ رورل تھیمس ڈپکٹیڈ بائی دا پوئٹ ان موسٹ آف ہز پوئٹری Kamal uh, describes the situation of poor rural people after the floods. In this way, he uses the social themes in his poems. His poems, poem talks openly about the problems we face in rural areas. Their hut was 40 years old. They had three wooden boxes of dairy and a sack full of expensive rice. Hmm. Sack full of expensive rice. In this poem, Kamal has painted rural picture in a beautiful way. The problems faced by the rural people, their social setup. Uh, dear students, there is another reference from another poem. His poem, A Narrow Valley, also describes the theme of flash floods. In this poem, he taunts that cruelty of nature as well as the cruelty of men. He says in the hard times like these only prayers do not work. One must take precautionary measures to avoid hardships or floods. He says beautifully prayers 
do not work at times such as these when the water is flooding from all sides to uh, uh, envelop human uh, dwellings houses lives of people are endangered uh, dear students kamal is also critical of the religious hypocrisy found in society in his poems kamal not only talks about the tyranny of nature and kings but also the religious priests he also talks about the class difference that man has made in his poem an ancient indian coin he says men create their own gods and a uh, earned brahim is exempt from all taxation hmm brahman jo hai wo exempt hote hain the brahmans are considered to be the people of high class this is why they are free to do whatever they like symbol of authority you know ye purane maashre mein hamare brahman jo the ye uh, muashiyat ko bhi puri tarah control karte the aur social status mein bhi hisab se high hote the ये क्लास डिस्टिंक्शन है इट शोज द हिपोक्रेसी ऑफ सोसाइटी कमाल क्रिटिसाइज दिस सिस्टम दैट इज इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल डियर स्टूडेंट्स दैन कमाल इनकॉर्पोरेट्स द थीम्स ऑफ वार एंड बेट्रेल ऑफ मैन कमाल ऑल्सो टच इज द सेंसिटिव मैटर ऑफ वार इन सम ऑफ हिज पोएम्स इन हिज पोएम बरूत स्पेशली ही टॉक्स अबाउट द ब्लडी सीन ऑफ वार इन लिबनन इन अ वे ही टॉक्स अबाउट द बेट्रेल ऑफ मैन टू वर्ड्स देयर फेलो मैन दिस पोएम रिप्रेजेंट्स इज लेस फेथ इन ह्यूमेनिटी मैनी डाइड ड्रीमिंग ऑफ वाटर मैनी बर्न अ लाइव शेडोज एवरीवेयर द सिटी हैज बिकम इट्स ओन मोनोमेंट लैंग्वेज की देखिए जरा वैब का अंदाजा कीजिए इट इज़ अ वेरी कॉमन एवरी डे लैंग्वेज दैट ही यूज एज अ पोइट without hindrance you can go deeper into the main idea of the lines wherever you read his poems even his translations from urdu and punjabi are as good as that he writes in english to bete isi tarah se uski translations bhi hain wo usne bade aisi vocab ka intikhab kiya hai ke jo flow ke sath lucidity ke sath jo hai wo aage badhti hai aur dilon par asar karti hai Uh, you may say that his writing style is simple and lucid uh, dear student uh, the uh, the reference has been elaborated further here the best part of this poem that is berut is the last four lines because in a way they talk about a ray of hope still in the gloomy atmosphere of war where men are being killed by men he says this morning must not cease mother dry your eye tears your sons will return your sons will return look at the line please what a line mother dry your tears your sons will return in these lines he is trying to tell the people that martyrs never die he gives their mothers the news of their eternal life and this is a message of hope he tries to infuse into his very lines of devastating poetry that that, that is rather war poetry is always very devastating kamal's poems talk about a betrayed society not only by their kings but by the hypocrite priests nature as well as by themselves this betrayal is not only a physical one it is a moral social economic betrayal which wounds souls Daud Kamal can be referred as poet of deep buried feelings who knows the art of making these feelings visible in a soft and simple manner. Uh, dear students this question has been shortened due to lack of time. Uh, I will provide you some other material to read about uh, the poet and his poetry and his writing style inshallah in a very short period of time. Uh, see you soon in the next session of ours thank you very much everybody see you soon allah hafiz and goodbye